So this is where I'm at on my RFID door unlock project. Um, this is the deadbolt that I got. Uh, I can post a link to it in the YouTube video. I was locked for it. But you can unlock it manually. Uh, this is what this side looks like. It's a, it actually has a wireless key fob that you can lock and unlock it with, but I just wired directly to the motor for what I want. Okay, door's closed. That bolt's locked. Uh, the two wires coming from the motor. They go to the motor driver, which is connected to my Borduino. And right now I've got two 9 volt batteries powering it. And there's a status light. This is the ID20 RFID reader. Uh, right, right now I'm just using the RFID that's in my my key. So I scan this. Light turns green. Deadbolt unlocks for 10 seconds, and then relocks. And the uh, status turns blue to let you know that it's ready to go. Status is green, letting you know that it was accepted. The door's unlocked. 10 seconds. Locks turns back to blue. And that's where I am so far. Next, I have to put all this on a PCB and get it as tightly packed as I can. Um, I plan to mount the Borduino and the motor driver on this side of the door in a project box about right here. I'm hoping to find a kind of a long skinny one. And I think I'm going to drill a hole through the door and mount the reader on the other side of the door in a smaller project box because this reader won't read through the door so I have to put it on the other side of the door and I think I can just drill a hole straight through the door and mount it in a small project box with the LED on the other side of the door and I don't know if I'm gonna need more power than these two 9 volts they're doing fine right now I guess I'll just run it with these see how that goes. I mean, I could replace it with a LiPo battery later on. But that's where I am.